with this passive build. Yes. Weaver Song Defender Crest. So it's basically gonna revolve around wall. This is already a horrible start. Now I just gotta kinda get in the groove, you know? I missed the pogo, but I still got damage with Defender Crest. Which is about piss poor damage. Welcome to How to Beat the Second Hornet Fight 101. This is why it's called My Poor Thumb. You see how much jumping I'm doing, basically? If I touch the ground, it's either to heal or to maybe pogo the boss once. If I hit the boss with my nail, it's kind of a rare occurrence. See, right there. That's a, um, okay. I'm gonna need some time to heal. Not gonna hit me from here. I got a ton of heals. These are actually helping me get around. Pogo! Helping me. Can't let these things. Can you probably not focus on these. It's basically, three free heals. Didn't attack them. I'm gonna take damage. Sometimes I'm not even focusing on the knight. Might sound kind of counterintuitive, but. It's gonna be such a long fight. Weaver Song and hit the boss. Weaver Song, Grub Song. I dash into that. That's my bad. Okay, that connected is my question. This is not gonna connect. That's gonna get me back to an absurd four health for that. Maybe you should stop trying to pogo that. I was so late on that pogo. Take my dumb defender damage. Take the stink. Sometimes I get that dumb defender damage in. Oh, fucking, I need to block that. Healing. Keep missing these. I beat it. Watch that. You see that? Yeah, come here. So strong. You could do it if you had the will. You're making my thumb hurt. I'm gonna get carpal tunnel by the end of the day. That was fun though. Big worm! Cast off shell. That's where you go. Oh, wait, I can actually start to beat the game.
I fail? Thank you, Hornet. I got King's Brand. It was worth it. I actually had no clue where you got King's Brand. I'm gonna... So this was the build I used. Yeah. I don't want to talk about that build. Think of running glowing womb in this build. And I get one charm notch. Now what I would like to do is I'm gonna to try to find the Colosseum of Fools. I oh wait no I need I'm gonna get Shake Cloak. I'm gonna continue the stream. This again, usually the start of the stream is the title. Um so when I say my poor thumb, I mean I'm gonna have an injured thumb for the rest of the day. This is not feeling good already. I need tail ore. Okay, let's go, kind of good. Cause I believe you need shade cloak. So it doesn't help that defender's crest does damage. Watch it, what did me kill this with just my passive ability? Haha, <laughs> defender's crest does jank. I don't even know if defender's crest does damage. I don't even care if Defender's Crest does damage. I like it so much. It's the reason I caught it. It works good in this build. I think it does do damage though. It's gonna be a good place for money farming though. And those mini hoppers give you a lot. Basically, while I'm killing one enemy, the o my other things can kill the other enemy. So now I need to go to the abyss. Use King's Brand. Get Shade Cloak. That's my plan. I think it's Shade Cloak. I know King's Brand gets you into the abyss. I just don't have any King Soul Fragments. I know you don't need King Soul for this, but Kingdom's Edge is fun. I like the aesthetic of the location. I like a lot of the locations in Hollow Knight. I don't know, if you... but Hollow Knight's one of my favorite games. I don't know if you knew this. Hollow Knight's one of my personal favorite games, and I would 100% recommend it. If you don't play it, then I, I mean, to me it doesn't matter if you play it or not. It's a fun game. If you don't play it, you're missing out. I don't know if I can dream that the corpse is in here. God, my poor tendons. <laughs> and that's also how you beat Hornet without any, uh, with carpal tunnel and, uh, any, uh, stagger.